Hi guys and welcome to my channel Carnal of Creativity. Today is going to be my first back to school video and I'm going to be showing you how you can make an embossed pencil case. So I'll see you in the outro. So I want to start by apologising for the awful video quality at the beginning. I didn't realise my camera wasn't properly focused. But anyway, what you will need is a double ended embossing pen, black embossing powder, a transparent pencil case and embossing heat gun. So what you want to do is draw your pattern on the pencil case with the pen. You may need to sprinkle the embossing powder on as you go to see where you've already drawn as the embossing pen ink is invisible. You want to keep drawing and putting embossing powder on for one row of your pattern. Any more and you may knock the powder off, distorting the existing pattern. This is because the pen isn't exactly adhesive, it just acts as something wet for the powder to stick to, but can easily be wiped away before permanently embossing with the heat gun if you make a mistake or don't like how it looks. For this reason I opted to draw and then emboss over a line at a time and even that was pushing it, resulting in having to go back over in an already embossed section with pen, powder, heat gun so that the pattern wasn't broken. Now that you can actually see what I'm doing, I'm now repeating this whole step for the next line of pattern. Another thing is you want to make sure you put any excess powder back in the pot or move it away from where you are embossing, otherwise the powder will literally blow everywhere. And can I just say, it is a nightmare to clean up. Then, I'm simply taking my embossing gun once again and heating up the powder so it melts. You can actually just about see the change. Make sure, however, you do not concentrate the gun in a specific area for too long, especially when working on this material, as it will start to slightly melt and distort the shape of the plastic. I bet by now you're getting sick of this, but yes, you guessed it. Then you go back in and repeat the whole process once again. You'll be glad to hear this is the last line of pattern. And don't forget to do exactly the same on the other side of the zipper. Last thing, I swear, is to add some text. I started by freehanding it, but wasn't confident in the neatness of the work. I couldn't actually see, so I wiped it off and cut a piece of paper to fit inside, on which I wrote pens and stuff, and stuck it to the inside with washi tape to trace over with the embossing pen and powder. I had to neaten this up a bit due to the excess powder um, sticking to the pen residue that I'd smeat everywhere when I wiped it off. But this was easy with a few strong blows and the help of a new makeup brush. And there we go. watching guys I hope you enjoyed this I just thought this was such a cool way to spice up some of those see-through pencil cases that you might have to have for exams um, like yeah sitting exams exam season just to make that experience just that little bit nicer bye